I feel like I have done these videos enough time now to where I don't have to show you guys this whole long intro and explain it anymore. So if you guys are wondering what I wore this week, then just keep watching. And if you're not following me on my Instagram and you like those glam shots, then it's just at 1-800-BUY. And if you like my style and you want to shop my style, then just follow me on my Depop. It's just at Violet Demion. And yeah, let's just get into my outfits of this week. <laughs> mess right now I'm trying to show you guys everything but it's here guys it's Monday and let's just start with how we always start which will be these pants so this whole outfit kind of revolved around the fact that I woke up super late today and only had about 20 minutes to get ready for work so I didn't want to like really scrub it or wear something that I always wear which would be like just an oversized t-shirt because I'm trying to challenge myself guys when I do these videos so the like the immediately the first thing that popped up into my head was model so model off duty so i started with just these boyfriend pants and they're kind of like a corduroy and i'm like obsessed with them because it's like a baby blue and i got these from urban outfitters they are the bdg and i'm just ugh, so in love with them because they're baggy and they're the first type of baggy type of pants like jeans like actual this is like a jean material that don't fit me weird in the crotch area because usually any type of those mom jeans or boyfriend jeans from urban outfitters just fit me really weird here but they fit like so well and then i rolled them up as you can see like at the bottom just to give it just that more of a bagginess because i feel like when it was straight down it didn't look as baggy versus when i rolled them up it kind of cinched at the bottom if that makes any sense and i feel like anytime I see a model off duty they're always wearing some type of just regular tank top so I went with this decan where I went just to add a little bit of a flare and usually they'll like tuck their shirts in but I would look like a box if I did that so I kind of tied it up into this old like seventh grade middle school when you tie your shirt PE shirts back and yeah that was pretty much the outfit and I just decided to pair it with some pleather off uh what's it called like accessories, accents, I don't know. And I decided to use these shoes. So I actually haven't worn these shoes in so long, probably over a year, because they've just been hiding in my closet and I'm so excited to finally bring them back out. These are from Urban Outfitters. It kind of has like a nice, soft, like fake suede material, but then it goes into the pleather. And I like how the pleather matches this moto jacket. I just feel like, again, models off duties always wear a pleather jacket. It just looks so badass. And I decided to drape it over and I actually did wear it all day at work draped over just because I'm like I don't want to put my like hands in them because I work in arms I don't want to put my arms in there because anytime I wear a pleather jacket I sweat so bad it's disgusting and since I was going to be moving all day I decided to drape it over and this is a jacket that actually nicely sits like I don't even have to move it or anything it's not uncomfortable like some of the pleather jackets that I do have and this one is from forever 21 and i always think hobo bags are just big oversized bags like anytime i see those like paparazzi type of photos so i decided to pair the suede one and this one is also from urban outfitters this is definitely like not my style at all when it comes to handbags if you guys could tell because usually i like a little bit more of a structured bag but i love how big it is and you could just throw stuff in it and this is actually my first time wearing it and of course you can't go wrong with some big oversized sunglasses with my Celine knockoffs that I actually got at Old Gold which is a like vintage type shop in Old Sacramento and I'm just gonna put them on really fast so I'm not rude and you won't see like the reflections but it just really completes the look like don't talk to me don't fuck with me and typically I would have had my hair in like a tight sleek bun but I kind of liked the messy ones except I don't like how these hang down like I wish they were more pinned back and that's pretty much it for this outfit so my face looks like shit my hair looks like shit but it's okay because we have like this whole structured outfit that kind of makes it okay because this is just such an i don't give in outfit and that's pretty much it i will see you guys tomorrow i feel like my lighting situation and backdrop and everything is always a mess but it's okay because we're here on tuesday and uh kind of just like tuesday last tuesday i'm not gonna lie all i've been doing today is just getting everything organized and situated and just doing a bunch of inventory and shipment so this is what i decided to wear so pretty much again no makeup i've been really into actually the whole like sleek bun look i mean my bun's not sleek but i actually tied my 
tied pulled back my hairs together today you know just i don't know it's just really reminds me of like a model off duty and i've been watching this new youtuber that i found her name is sammy robinson i'm seriously obsessed with her and she always does her hair like this so uh that's kind of where i picked it up and where my session began but it doesn't matter this is what i threw on like when i went to the stores and stuff today so i just paired it with this cest la vie paris i don't know why i said it like that and stupid but this one is just from zaffle it used to have black drawstrings on it but it kind of fell out when i dried it and yeah i paired these like snap pants adidas that i got from the thrift store these are not adidas these are nike but i paired these in my i think first lookbook so if you want to see how i actually styled them when they were unsnapped you can watch it in that first lookbook but then i just paired these vans uh slip-on vans just to I don't know because I usually would wear slippers but it's like freaking pouring rain outside and that's literally the outfit today and of course my bag that I got from Zara for like $10 my fake ass Chloe knockoff with the handles because I'm fake and I can't afford the real thing and yeah that's it also this sweater like a uh, sweatshirt has it's like really fuzzy on the inside so it keeps me super warm and this is just like a really laid back and cozy look so if i do have to go out to the store i don't have to really change you know it's still appropriate to go to the store and like run errands and it's still comfy enough to wear on the inside i mean to wear inside except obviously i'm not wearing the shoes and yeah that's pretty much it i'm sorry for this very not eventful tuesday but sometimes you just have those lazy days and i like to show you guys but i wear my lazy days and yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> so i realized that this jacket completely just throws off the entire outfit but i actually only wore this jacket when i went outside but yeah it's a uh, wednesday and let's just start with this jacket so i can take it off and actually show you guys my outfit so this jacket i got at zara a while ago but it is so soft it came in like a bunch of different colors like black a cream and honestly it just feels like a blanket like one of those uh you know what i mean like those little blankets like i always see them at marshall's and like home goods it's like this material it just feels like a fluffy little cloud but yeah like the inside is waterproof and all that and i just really liked it because like like the ugly color and i liked how the color really toned down the whole fancy effect at the bottom that i have going on if that made any sense but if it doesn't it's okay i'm gonna take this off so this is the actual outfit that i wore let me take this off and if you can see my nipples i'm sorry because i didn't realize that it was see-through but it's okay we're just gonna roll with it because of fashion so this is the outfit that i decided to wear again i feel like i'm being very lazy this week it's just been it's been a rough work week also it is thundering so bad right now so if you can hear that i am so sorry but yeah this outfit revolved around this shirt pretty much which is just this gucci shirt that i thrifted i have no idea if it's real i have no idea if it's fake it kind of looks real but it kind of doesn't look real to be honest i don't really care about the amount of people that asked me today if this was real was insane like why are they asking me if it's real but yeah i just love it because i thrifted it and it's just super comfy and it just gives it that um what do you call like fashion forward feel like i love higher brand fashion that just say the logo like that saint laurent one that everyone always wears it's just like that really small writing that's what this kind of reminds me of and then i just paired it with these flared out pants oh my god this is the dirt right now please tell me i hope you can hear it through the camera because it is so loud it's kind of like creeping me out that is so loud I wonder if you can hear it. If not, I just sound like a psychopath. But I paired it with these pants that I wore in, I think, like last week's lookbook or the week before that. And these are from Urban Outfitters. I'm like obsessed with them because I just love how they flare out. And I paired it with these shoes because I like how it morphs. These are kind of like the sock booties that I got from Zara again. And they are like my prized possession. Like I think they just like make everything look so good. And I love morphing them into like anything black because I just think it makes everything look sleek. And this whole outfit is just really sleek, especially with like my bun pulled back again i've been really into the whole model off duty vibes lately and even though my face is swollen i just look like a puffer fish it's okay because my outfits make up for it and that is it for today i will see you tomorrow it's very clear this week that i'm just a lazy sack shit so we're just gonna get to thursday's outfit i'm also sitting on the ground because i don't want to readjust my camera i have so many things i need to do and that one extra step is just apparently so big for me so uh we're just gonna get two of what i decided to wear so obviously a sweatsuit if you guys haven't seen my like juicy couture lookbook definitely go check that out i'll link it somewhere it's pretty much just the concept of what i grabbed from that lookbook into today because i actually have 
haven't worn it. I'm feeling very earth tone vibes. This, let's just get to it. So, oh, and you can't really see my shoes. So let me show you my shoes. I'm wearing my Adidas with it. But let's just start with this sweat. Like, by the way, both of these pants and the top are thrifted. If you guys don't know, I always thrift my velour suits just because... <laughs> find them literally at every single thrift store I go to for like seven dollars instead of paying like the full price for them I don't care they're still in just the early 2000s is just my favorite era ever but this BCBG one again I thrifted I just love it it's like a nice neutral I don't have I didn't have any like pants that much with it which is stupid because I actually always find this color of velour pants but I just don't pick it up I don't know why so I only had these green ones so I decided to do this like earth tone thing going on with my blue hair and everything and this is also BCBG but look at these these actually have like the BCBG on them it's so cute it's like that font that I'm obsessed with with the uh I don't know like old English and it has like the sparkles on it and this one right here says BCBG and it has the rhinestones I like how it's like two different fonts just makes it that like a little bit more different and then these Adidas again I got these from Urban Outfitters and these are the Samoas yeah and that is pretty much it typically if I would wear a sweatsuit though I would wear like fuzzy slippers or something cute like that but it was raining so bad that I couldn't wear fuzzy slippers I would look ridiculous but yeah if you guys like this outfit even though it's so boring it's just nice on the go it's really like the Kim K and I even slicked my hair back again I'm really obsessed with this type of style you know like how the natural Kim K not natural like the typical Kim K like sleek back hairstyle but this is done really poorly because I was in a rush and just fake eyelashes it's like my favorite look fake eyelashes no makeup glossy lip except I didn't wear gloss today and just a sleek ponytail with a sweatsuit and there you go you are a granite bay mom and that's what we all want to be right <laughs> not really but we're here and i'm sorry that all of my outfits are lazy but if you want a lazy outfit this lookbook will help you <laughs> so i'll see you guys tomorrow and just like last week it's sunday i definitely skipped friday and saturday again it's just been just been one of those weeks so let's just get right on into the outfit starting with the pants so these are uh, 10 out of 10 the pants that I wore I think it was a couple days ago not a couple days ago but I definitely wore in this lookbook this is just like a mustard yellow version I seriously loved it the, like I love the style of these pants so much that I had to get it in this color too it's just oh, just like look at the bottom it's they're so comfy like honestly they don't even feel like pants they it, even more comfy than sweatpants to be honest and I just knew I was gonna wear these shoes with it so and by the way these pants are from Urban so these shoes are thrifted and I am literally obsessed with them they are like the perfect like I don't have any heel not heel well yeah I don't have any heel like this but I don't have any like pointed toe like this they're just so don't want to use the word edgy but they're so like badass and they just fit so well with these pants and then I paired uh, this shirt this Harley shirt that I actually thrifted this week if you guys saw that thrift haul as well this one does have like paint splattered on it but I think I kind of like I like that it has the paint splattered it's like when the shirts used to be ripped it just gives it that character and there's like paint right here paint right here I don't know I love it and I love that it's baggy you guys know I love wearing baggy tees over like pants like this just like stuff that makes my body like that almost hides my body like I love a silhouette like that that's really baggy it just really reminds me of like the Mary Kate and Ashley look if you guys know what I'm talking about which is why I paired this bag again I got this bag from Urban Outfitters it just reminds me of the knockoff bag from the row and I paired this checkered just to give it a little bit more of like a different feel like I felt like this outfit was enough so then when I paired this especially with like my slick back hair I thought it just gave it such a look and this one is from forever 21 and yeah that is pretty much it that is the whole entire outfit for Sunday and I will see you guys for next week